about. <laughs> we just got to Hungary. We are at the, one of the stages of Hungarian Baja Rally. And that is the only information I have known for the last four hours. And Ruta is slightly confused. I don't know why, because it's all very, very clear and very, very straightforward. You guys want to know where you are? No, no, we're good, we're good. This is the Marshal. What's your name, Marshal? Janusz. This is Janusz, Marshal. Hello, Janusz. He's extremely busy, but we basically at one of the corners of the rally because I want to take some photos. Ruta wants to chill out and do some editing and so on and so on, but for some reason she doesn't seem to understand what are the logistics of the whole operation. I'm just one of those people who really hate events where people stand around with no purpose. Like, I, right now there is no purpose <laughs> and there is not planned. There's no purpose planned for the next, what, three hours, two hours? And we are yet still standing around, just not finding any purpose. Wasting precious time. <laughs> Ruta is inflating the vagina. You look like floating. Are you excited? Yeah. My first rally. I've never been to one. Serious? You've got a car like this and you've never been in one. Told you I'm not competitive. I like having fun. Not yeah, but I thought you came a spectator. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, to other rallies as well. Sugar, you get so The suspension is really beefy, so you can jump. I'm sure that they would outlast normal in terms of jumping, and also the, the suspension, the way it's designed, the swing arms is slightly different as well. But it's uncomparable in terms of what you can do with it, how much more versatile the Nomad is. That's what's so amazing about it. But this is still like one dimensional toy that you can do one thing very, very well. Well, this one you can do this almost just as well, plus so many others. But my favorite thing, still those trucks. I absolutely love them. They're ridiculous. There's one Scania and there's one Tatra behind it. Tatra, I think, is the same one that was uh, good. This guy is winning as Parenthood. He's got a remote control car that pulls his kids in a tram. Getting a delivery of fresh pastries coming up. Pastries! We walked past this pastry shop yesterday that was working in the middle of the night. The bakers were half naked making buns. So now we came to <laughs> we came to get some. Oh yeah, that's the one I want. Whoa, it's big. Got this amazing location. We are staying at the guest house of some sort from booking.com. This is the place for the nomad. It's literally dripping with grapes all around. So we've been eating them for the last half an hour. <laughs> Sour one. So Your face. <laughs> In case you're wondering why Ruta is wearing our serious weather wet pants, 
we've just been recording the Final review. Touches. Final yeah. touches to the Ariel Nomad Onus review. Have you seen it? You haven't seen it yet? You must watch it. Check it out. Check it out. This is the house that we're staying in, like this whole thing. We don't really have a use of the garage, but it's still really, really nice to do any work on the car, which I've been doing right now. One thing that I never go on a road trip without is the Letterman. Letterman or any equivalent, whatever you have. It saved my ass so many times. You can fix so many things with Letterman, some zip ties and gaffer tape. And today's going to be the Letterman time. I'm trying to cut something to prevent the artificial grass floor mats that we have from sleeping because they just constantly shift. I bought the anti-sleeping mat for drawers and I'm going to try to cut the same, sh the same shape, the same size and just attach it somehow from the bottom. I can't get too close to you Everything that's in my really hope it works. It's really annoying. Our last days in Hungary. We're gonna head to towards south through Romania and then Bulgaria. We've been following what are they called? Mongol, Mongol Rally. Rally. And it's not literally following. We've been well, <laughs> with them on Facebook and so on. So we've got we get updates. Mm. And one of the teams, teams uh, have been robbed in Romania, which kind of made us a little bit wary. And sometimes you do drive through places without trying to sound, you know, not very nice. It does sometimes feel very dodgy. Like a lot of the time people's attention towards the nomad is nice and pleasant and really friendly. But sometimes you feel like, oh, I don't really want you to be circling the car that close with my belongings being there. We want to make the car very muddy and very dirty so that you can't really see it that much or it doesn't look... It doesn't look expensive, it doesn't look yeah. valuable, it looks more like we have some crazy off-road, it's a piece of shit of a... Mm, something that we've built ourselves and it's kind of not worth anything. Then the shiny beautiful stuff with expensive suspension, winches and everything else. It's not just about this one report by Mongo Rari. I've heard a few other stories and they kind of make, make me more wary about what we're going to do in Romania. Uh, it's not about the... I don't know, general outlook of the country. I know many Romanians, I love them. It's not one of those, I'm not a racist, but it's actually, it is true. I know that probably 99% of the people living there are very friendly and good and honest and everything. However, the 1% kind of worries me a little bit. So we always, we always traveled or try to travel smart. We try not to get in trouble by not necessarily exposing us ourselves to it we got robbed like seriously robbed in peru in lima about two years ago and since then we try to be even even smarter i guess by doing something like this by trying not to necessarily not, ignore not being, the advice and yeah. just basically going through it thinking ah it's not going to happen to us uh, it worked we travel pretty much all the time and nothing bad happened since Mm. So this advice that has been given us to, to us regarding Romania it, it would be a little bit too expensive not to listen to it, I guess One very important thing It doesn't really ever stop us from going places We mm. don't believe in just avoiding it altogether just because there might be a risk to it No, we go there anyway But we try to be as smart as possible and basically try to prevent those things from happening I guess so, yeah. that's the best way. So the plan is to make the car very dusty and dirty. <laughs> Which is very enjoyable. Yeah. It is, but it's very difficult because it's very dry right now. There's no puddles. We can't really drive into a lake. So I'm actually thinking mm. that maybe... No. <laughs> and maybe we can like spray it with water and then drive down a dusty road or something so it sticks. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try something. We'll keep you updated. You'll see some photos probably on Instagram. So do make sure to follow us. A lake has been found. The nomad has been parked.
I'm in Szeged in Hungary the cooler arrived and now I just need to find a place to fit it of course I don't have any tools with me so I can't really do it myself unfortunately nothing sounds like anything else in Hungarian so I don't really know what am I searching for I'm just hoping to find some signs with maybe car brand names and things like that and yeah I'll find a garage somehow something that looks decent if you haven't found the guy he speaks five words of English but yeah every mechanic understands the parts as well so you should be good Upgraded the light bulbs in my headlights before we left. I put some, I think Osram night night vision or something like that, plus 150, I think. There actually is a big difference. The cat is trying to steal mine. <laughs> Wait. But unfortunately, they don't last as long as the standard ones. So that's why I'm not really surprised that one of them died already. <laughs> It's all sorted, we've got the oil cooler fitted, the brand new one, it's all working fine, there don't seem to be any leaks. The guy was really, really professional. A very personal opinion, I always check how clean the, the workshop is, how clean the garage is before I put the car in. In 90% of the times, if the garage is nice and tidy, it will tell you that the job is going to be done well. How you get so